CBS 46 investigative reporter Sally Sears is back. She dug deeper into how cases like these come to light. Sally, tell us what you found now. Well, the U.S. attorney says Mitchell is guilty of a brazen scheme to buy government contracts at City Hall, but nobody is saying who he is supposed to have bribed yet. Well-known Atlanta businessman E.R. Mitchell Jr. is charged with conspiracy to bribe and money launder a million dollars, all to influence contracts at City Hall. Vic Hartman spent 25 years as an FBI agent, cracking public corruption cases, some of them in Atlanta. Now retired, Hartman has nothing to do with this case, but reveals how the FBI finds public officials who might be bribed. There's three categories of individuals that could receive a bribe. One is somebody in the purchasing department. Second is someone with expertise about the contracts, a so-called subject matter expert. That subject matter expert is the one that can bamboozle the procurement committee that's making this decision. Another possibility is an elected official has kind of put their thumb on the scales of justice in terms of balancing out who should get the contract. Former FBI agent Hartman predicts that other people, maybe several, are involved and Mitchell may have helped catch them in an FBI sting. He's probably cooperated tremendously. He's probably worn wires. He's probably recontacted every bad person he knew in the government. Somebody feared Mitchell was talking. 16 months ago, they sent this message of intimidation right through his living room window. A brick with shut up written on it in red crayon and three dead rats left behind. So, in federal court tomorrow, it could be chilling. E.R. Mitchell Jr. is expected to fully confess to the charges tomorrow afternoon and perhaps name names. I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 Investigates.